So in order to prepare for this step, a good thing to do, I think, is to first take a look at what's in your upgraded providers files. So if you remember, the AJS upgraded providers are those Angular JS providers, injectable things, which we temporarily upgraded in our migration process because we, we, we didn't have a good solution for it at that time. And what we can do with this file is we can basically take something that exists in Angular JS dependency injection and inject it in Angular. So it kind of allows us to upgrade an Angular JS service into something we can use in Angular. Now, now we're going to be dropping Angular JS. We need to find solutions for everything which you had in your AJS upgraded providers. Now we've only got two in here. So we've got kind of two things, generally two things, and one of them is the toaster module. So if you remember, I upgraded or temporarily upgraded the Angular JS toaster so we could use it in our Angular components. And I also did similar things with the UI router. So the UI router had two services which you could inject. One is dollar state and the other is dollar state params and we temporarily upgraded those as well. So we need to find solutions for these before we can basically drop Angular JS. So for the toaster, the solution is we're going to start using an Angular 2 toaster. Um, it's actually Angular 2 toaster. You can find it here on GitHub. A fairly simple implementation. You can just basically import it and start using it with exactly the same API that the old Angular toaster had. So that's what we're going to do with the Angular toaster. For the UI router, well, we don't need to really do anything. We essentially are going to start migrating from the UI router to the Angular router. So the UI router was using Angular JS. We're going to migrate to the built-in Angular router in our Angular application. So actually, eventually, we can ignore this one. So at this stage, basically, go through, figure out, you're going to have to do some investigation, perhaps a little bit of investigative coding. You may just have to do some coding as well just to figure out what to do with these upgraded providers. We're going to start using the Angular 2 toaster. So for now, I'm just going to start adding this into our application. I'm not going to use it just yet, but I'm just going to import it in preparation for the next step. So this is actually a step that you could do and then release your application and, and then actually work on the next step of, of migrating routing. So this is something you can do in one step and still have a releasable application. So let's start doing that. Now we're going to have to keep our old toaster in there because we still need to use the old Angular JS toaster. All I'm going to be doing is adding in the new toaster and we're not even going to be using it just yet. I'm just going to add it in in preparation for the next step. So some of this stuff I'm doing is just preparation work really. So let's open up the terminal and let's just add in the toaster uh, package itself which is actually Angular 2 toaster npm install dash dash save let's add that in okay that's now installed now we need to basically go into our ng module and we're already here and we need to add it in now can we use the new angular 2 toaster with a few extra import modules so you can see at the top here uh, i'm grouping it with the angular 2 ladder angular 2 infinite scroll and angular 2 toaster so there's two things for Angular 2 Toaster, there's a Toaster module, and if it's a module, we need to import it. And the next thing is a Toaster service, and with a service, we need to add it to our providers. Now that's all I'm going to be doing at this stage. I'm just going to add it in in preparation for when we do migrate over towards it. So I'm just going to make sure it runs or compiles. I should say. I should say. I haven't kind of. I shouldn't be breaking anything at this stage. Okay, everything's compiled correctly. And if I go to our application, which is localhost 5000. Yep, everything's there. And, th and this toaster is working, but this isn't a new toaster. We're still using the old AngularJS to toaster, which we upgraded temporarily. But at the very least, adding the new toaster, and we know it hasn't broken anything, and we are prepared to migrate to this now in this step of the migration process.